My name is Chad Leinweber and I'm a design engineer for Nelson Irrigation Corporation and today we're going to take a look at this SR150 and the trip lever and the trip lever service kit. We're going to give instructions on how to replace the bearings and the seals and the follower and just check the overall health of a trip lever assembly on an SR150. These instructions are applicable also to the SR100 and the SR200 as well. A couple tools you want to have in addition to having your 12804 service kit, a Phillips a uh, screwdriver, a set of uh, retaining rings for external retaining rings, uh, some lubricant like a 130AA lubriplate or some anti-seize or no-weld. It may also be handy to have a, an extension for a ratchet or a screwdriver uh, or some sort of punch that we'll use to help uh, drive the bearings out of the trip lever itself. First thing you're going to want to do is get your gun in a place that you can work on it fairly easily. Uh, I, I realize this is probably a, a more convenient place than many of you will uh, be working on the guns. But even if you're in the back of a pickup or something, if you can just secure it, even if it's on its side, it'll make the job a little bit easier. Start off with, I'm going to loosen these two screws right here on top of the trip lever. And if this trip lever has been out in service for any time, then most likely some hard water buildup on these and they may be a, a little bit stuck. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go very slowly so you don't twist the head of the, uh, of the screw off there. But just push down slowly and then unwind them. Go ahead and remove both of those screws. And uh, put them somewhere that they're not going to fall down into the ground. Remove the cap and then move our way up here to this shifter stop. I'm going to take this shifter stop and, and take three of the four screws out and rotate it so I have access to my, uh, to quickly and easily release my trip lever. I've already removed two of the four screws just for, uh, for time's sake. After removing the third screw, you may have to go back and just slightly loosen the, the four screw. At that point, you'll notice that the spring is going to want to push the trip lever out. Just slightly rotate your, uh, your shift stop there, let the spring extend, remove the spring, set that aside because you're going to need that later. At this point, you can see the trip lever is, is free to, uh, to rotate. You may need to take a, a shop rag or something and wipe the top of the, uh, the trip lever pin off and you'll see that down there and you'll notice a retaining ring right down here. Use your external retaining ring pliers and you can uh, go ahead and uh, remove that retaining ring. It's a pretty small retaining ring. Uh, if you don't have some pliers, you could also get it apart with, uh, with a screwdriver. It's not too... Actually, it is a little bit difficult to remove because it's flexible. There we go. And just go ahead and you can uh, discard that as there'll be another uh, retaining ring in the service kit. At this point, simply slide the trip lever off the trip lever shaft and at this point you can inspect and you can take a look at your bearings and see the, the health of your bearings just to ensure that they do need to be replaced. In order to replace them, I'm going to use a, a vise here. It's probably not necessary to use a, a, use a vise. You could probably uh, just put a couple pieces of wood down, something to, to hold the trip lever up like this. And I'm going to use a screwdriver and a hammer and I'm just going to slightly tap. I'm going to reach inside the bottom seal here and I'm going to tap on the inner race of the, uh, the bearing and slowly just drive the two bearings in the spacer out. The top bearing just fell out along with a spacer between the two bearings. I'm going to leave the bottom bearing in just because I'm going to reassemble this for you, but obviously in the field you'd knock both bearings and the, and the shaft out. You see what I've caught down here is the top bearing and the shaft and a whole bunch of uh, grease. And this grease I will get back to when we reapply. I then take my, my new parts that I get from my 12804 service kit and I would basically just reverse the, uh, the procedure to install them. I'd turn my trip lever back up this direction I'm going to lay in the first bearing, tap it down a little bit, again using a hammer and my, uh, my extension shaft. I then am going to take the spacer and drop the spacer in there. The spacer will sit between the inner races between the two bearings. And then I will press in the, uh, the top bearing after that. 
After tapping the top bearing flush with the surface, use a screwdriver to run down through the center and align the spacer ID with the, uh, the bearing IDs. At this point, flip your trip lever over, take your new seal, and uh, you can press it in there. You can work it in there with your fingers. It's a, it's a rubber piece, and you'll see that it uh, just pops in there pretty easily. At this point, you're ready to reassemble the trip lever back onto the, uh, the elbow of the gun. Simply slide it down on the trip lever shaft. You'll hear it kind of snap as it gets down there. Take your retaining ring and uh, reapply it using your retaining ring pliers. Put the new gasket on the, the seal face there and then use your cap and your screws to, uh, to attach it. If you have access to uh, any lubricant plate, 130AA or no weld, I recommend putting a little bit in the, in the threaded holes or on the screws themselves here. That way if you ever have to get back into this assembly, it will make it much easier for you. The, uh, the screws won't bind up into the aluminum. So at this point you can just uh, hand tighten these. You don't need to reef them down. Just and your trip lever is good to go. Your trip lever uh, service kit also includes a spare follower. Now the follower is this black piece right here. Sometimes it's also aqua. We've had a material change several years ago, but both of these materials, uh, these colors at least, exist out in the field. So to replace those, you simply snap them off and snap it back onto this post right here. To reassemble the gun to working order, slide your shifter bracket back to the side so that the shift lever is in between the two sides. Take your spring that you removed earlier, slide it up into the spring tube, engage it with the follower, making sure that the, uh, the, the, the end of the follower that has the cross on it goes into the, uh, into the spring. You need to do this all while holding that uh, shifter stop up there. And then move the shifter stop back into space with the shift lever and the trip lever in between the two of them. Now, the spring's gonna wanna pop it loose, so you're gonna need to hold it with, uh, with one of your hands while you take your screws and uh, firmly attach the shifter stop to the elbow. Once you have all four screws firmly attached, it's time to test our trip lever and to make sure it works correctly. The trip lever should rotate back and forth freely and smoothly and when it does so, the spring should push the shift lever from one side to the other side. So just toggle it back a couple times and to verify that it, uh, it works properly. At this point, you're ready to go.